first of all, does, does everyone need to run ads? No. Um, and in fact, when I've had people that join my, my network marketing uh, team and said, hey man, I got, you know, I mean, I've, I've had people come in and say, hey, I got $5,000 to spend, you know, what kind of ads should I buy? And um, I usually tell them, let's hold on to your money for now. Let's get you profitable with other strategies first. And then if you want to run ads, fine. There's two things you gotta understand. I, I won't write them because they'll take too long. Two things you gotta understand is number one, um, the point of advertising is to create the ability to spend more. This is so important to understand. See, a lot of, even business owners, a lot of business owners, a lot of people, they, they, don't, they don't understand. They think that the point of advertising is to get the word out about a, a certain special or a certain flash sale or a certain whatever. And that is a terrible way to think about ads. The way that you should think about ads is how do I create the ability to spend more? And the way that you do that is by tracking. And so if, if I put, you know, $1 into an ad, right? Here's an ad and it makes me $2, well then, that's a good thing. And so we should do maybe $10 into an ad, see what happens. And if it equals 20, then drop the hammer and put a hundred bucks in, thousand bucks in, 10,000 bucks in, 50,000 in, right? And so obviously not everyone has humongous budgets, but this is the deal. Now, how come people don't do more of this kind of stuff? Because they don't track. So they will, you know, tell their friend, they'll hand out a, you know, a business card that has a link to, you know, whatever, uh, grapeytograpecom forward slash Jojo. And they'll say, Hey man, you'll visit this website and they'll do a Facebook live and they'll say, Hey, visit this website. They'll post on their you know, social media. Here's the website. And then they'll run an ad to that same website. So where are your results coming from? Nobody knows, right? So if you run an ad, this has to be tracked specifically. You have to know if you're getting leads and sales from that exact ad. Now, if you wanna get a slightly bit more fancy, you should actually have, uh, you should be split testing, add one, add two, and see which one, you know, which one is better, right? And so then, you know, say, ah, I'm getting more results from this one, then you try to beat that one. This, is a very simplified version of how the largest companies around marketing become the largest companies. They literally try to create ads that, you know, continue the, you know, which one's better, which one's better, which one's better, which one's better, until they get the most uh, efficient ad. And so I'm not saying you gotta run ads, right? There's lots and lots and lots of people in network marketing that have never run ads that are extremely profitable. But if you're going to do ads, don't just do it willy nilly. Don't just, you know, oh, I hope this works, you know, and, and don't do it as a sensation. Don't do it as a, hey, I put, you know, 50 bucks, let's see what happens. No, the purpose of advertising is to create the ability to spend more. And so when we, you know, when we, for example, Monday, we are rolling out a brand new training specifically. It's actually the first of its kind. It's, ever, it's never been done before. And it's, uh, it's all around... Uh, branding and duplication. So it, it tackles the sexiness of personal branding and what people want, but it also, it conveys, you know, how to get more duplication. So how to be branded and be duplicatable. And so that topic is, at least from our, our space and from our, our uh, research, has never actually been taught. Personal branding has been taught by a million people in a million different uh, categories, but, um, you know, but for example, you know, we, I've already shot two videos, okay, that we will be testing. So, you know, add, add one, right, or, you know, for simplicity, let's just call it add one, add two, right? It's not technically that way, but we're going to run, you know, put, you know, we'll probably start with maybe, I don't know, 200 bucks. Okay, 200 bucks here. 
and we're gonna see which one's more efficient, okay? If, let's say that this is the winner, okay, fine. We're gonna create another one, <laughs> right? That competes with this one. If that one is still more efficient, fine. We'll kill this one off, this one was killed, and continue on. But the goal each time is to uh, increase that spending. And so to, to the point of advertising is to create the ability to spend more. That's how uh, companies scale very, very quickly. And uh, the good thing about network marketing, unlike you know my company, right? You're built for scaling. Like our company, we have to add bodies. We have to add people, we have to add resources, server power, all kinds of stuff. You could have 10,000 people come into your organization tomorrow and not feel the stress of shipping, not feel the stress of uh, you know, figuring out who gets paid what, right? So that's what's pretty cool about uh, network marketing is it's, it's built in for scaling. And so there you go. You can find more great marketing, prospecting, and recruiting tips just like these over at rayhigdon.com. And remember to pick up your free copy of his 29 sources of network marketing leads. We'll see you over there.